Hey, Better Editors, what is up? My name is Chris, and today we are starting part two of our 10-part series in Learning Premiere Pro. Today, we're gonna to take a look at changing our keyboard preferences, our shortcuts, and some essential user preferences that are gonna help us move faster when we're in the edit and also make our life a lot easier. Let's do it. What we're doing today isn't going to be super exciting, but it's gonna help us in the long run, so keep that in mind. What we're gonna dive into first is looking at some basic user preferences that are gonna make us move faster and hopefully make our editing process just a lot smoother. So to do that, we're gonna go up to edit and click preferences and then general. The first thing I want you to do is click over to the audio tab. And from there, I want you to go down to the checkbox that says play audio while scrubbing. Make sure this is checked. Let me repeat that, you want that to be checked. That's gonna be really nice when we're dragging our timeline playhead across audio and being able to hear it play. And the last thing that I wanna do, and this is possibly the most important, is click down on the trim tab. Under here, make sure you have allow selection tool to choose roll and ripple chims without modifier key. That probably makes no sense right now, but that's okay. I promise it's gonna make our life a lot better once we're in the edit. So again, make sure that that is selected and hit okay. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna dive into some keyboard shortcuts. And now the big thing with keyboard shortcuts is working with the keyboard makes you move faster. It's really easy to move your mouse around and drag something from the window into the timeline or drag from the project panel into the timeline. But at the end of the day, moving a mouse is actually really slow compared to being able to hit a key very, very quickly on the keyboard. So we're gonna go into our edit menu and change our keyboard shortcuts. Now, the things that I'm going to show you are my personal preference. And this has been built on my years of editing and to be completely transparent, I started editing on Avid over 15 years ago, learned how to work in Final Cut Pro, moved to Premiere Pro, have gone back to Avid. So I've got just a conglomeration of shortcuts that I feel like work really well for me. You absolutely don't have to use these, but these can help you to move faster if you wanna change your shortcuts to these settings. The first thing that we're gonna change is our insert edit. So to do that, we'll click into the search bar, hit insert, insert, do, 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 let's scroll down. Let's see, and we want insert clip. So right here, I'm gonna make this a V. So hit V, all right. And it's gonna give you this warning down here that's saying it's in use by another tool. Go ahead and say okay, because we're changing this to our preference, remember that. So I'll take that other one off. Next, I wanna change the override edit. And I understand that you probably don't know what these types of edits are. Don't worry, we'll cover all of that information in part three of this series. So for overwrite, we'll hit this and hit B and take this off. The next thing I wanna change is add edit. This is my favorite hotkey by far. You can do the same thing with add edit as using the razor blade tool, but infinitely faster. So to do that, I'll hit this, and it's already mapped to Control-K. If you want to keep that, great. I prefer using the hotkey G. The reason I like that is because it's one key that I can just hit, 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 hit as fast as I need to and make as many edits as I need to as quickly as I want. Up next is going to be Nudge. Now, the Nudge tool is also one of my favorites. The Nudge tool I use to move clips left or right on the track. So let's open this up a little bit more. And we're going to come down until we see timeline panel. That's what we're interested in. So I want to find nudge selection left one frame. And for the left, I'm going to hit the comma key. Because if you look above the comma key, you'll see an arrow that points to the left. It just makes sense to me. I'm going to do the same thing for the right key and make it the period. After that, let's change our selection tool. And I'm going to make that A since the V key is now being used for insert. And that's all that we're gonna touch for now. So we can save this as a custom keyboard and we'll call this the Better Editor Keyboard. That rounds out part two of this series. Coming up next, we're gonna get our hands dirty and start working with some footage clips and learning some edits and how they actually work in the timeline. Get excited, we're digging into footage next. 